അഗ്രിപ്രന്യൂസ് ഗുഡ് ഈവനിങ് കോട്ടയം സോ വി വിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ദ ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ സെഷൻ ഐ തിങ്ക് ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് ഓൾ എക്സോസ്റ്റഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് മൈ ഡ്യൂട്ടി ടു അവേക്ക് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു സോ വി വിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് വിത്ത് ദ സെഷൻ ആൻഡ് ആസ് വി ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് അവേഴ്സ് ഇസ് ആൻഡ് അഗ്രി ബിസിനസ് ഇൻക്യുബേഷൻ യൂണിറ്റ് വർക്കിംഗ് വിത്ത് കേരള അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു നോ ദ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് അഗ്രി ബിസിനസ് ഇൻക്യുബേറ്റേഴ്സ് okay we have hundreds of business incubators all over the country based on agriculture and especially in uh, kerala we have almost uh, five agri business incubator exclusively for working on agri sector agri sector or food sector and uh, some private sector uh, business incubation center also based on agri and food sector so the prime a motive of this business incubation unit is as uh, the bis- any other incubation unit to promote the business uh, businessman here actually we promote uh, business based on agri and food sector so what are the new technologies available at kerala agriculture university to incubate to, which is available for the incubators and how we promote the with the new uh, ventures that we will be sharing within the next uh, 15 minutes and after that with the th- with the session we have two incubators from our incubator center and as again it was introduced well one is uh, nalla kashagan that is actually good farmer uh, brand that is nalla brand name is uh, good Kash- uh, nalla kashagan that is actually he promotes the good agriculture organic products as well as safe to eat products which is uh, Give better give a better share to the farmers and another uh, uh, headed by mr arun jos and basically he is an agriculture engineer and another incubator is uh, mr pc kabir he is basically an uh, it engineer and he is uh, he is working on source traceability as we all know in supply chain the ability to trace back once the simple sentence if you are talking about the traceability is nothing but the ability to trace back the farmer or the or, uh, consumer can feel the farmer and he, he can see the uh, he can uh, means he will have means the uh, will get a better uh, belief or uh, uh, the the safety of the product and he can guarantee the quality of the product that is what uh, the ability to trace back and the traceability and the source system he has ensured that so they will be explaining about their uh, uh, their experience with the kerala agriculture university agri business incubator center as well as their uh, startup section so i will be briefly explaining what are the innovative projects or the technologies available to the kerala agriculture university incubation center and how the innovative ideas we can help the startups so we are production sector means most of the sessions the morning session it was handled the production segment importance of production sector we have been hearing about the production same in self we are almost in self sufficient in most of the production segment you can see nearly 15 crops we are in the first rank position and in another 19 crops india ranks second in most of the production sector so almost we are self sufficient but our world share is negligible that is mainly because of the want of quality raw material and at the same time lack of processing units so to enhance the processing sector and also to enhance the skill development in the sector actually india it has started the skill development start, uh, skill development and entrepreneurship segment in 1962 onwards we have different programs and we can see the number because at this late evening i am not going to explain about all the incubation all the skill development program by the government of india but where we stands now we all know because in 2015 we have start up india program and now we have even stand up india exclusively for women and scst groups and this importance is actually you can see the 14 percentage of the manufacturing segment is by the food processing sector and in this food processing sector nearly 30 percentage only in the organized sector and the remaining 70 percentage is in the unorganized sector so in skill de- through skill development what we are aiming is to bring enhancing this 30 percentage to 100 percentage that means organized sector has to move from this 30 percentage to 100 percent practically it is ideal condition it's not possible but still to enhance the 30 percentage to 100 percentage that is our aim and also to reduce the unorganized sector from the 70 percentage to 0 percentage so to enhance this 
organized sector skill development actually we require skill development sector and that is what we are doing through startups program as well as still skill india program so this one you can see the step wise sector of the startup india program the number of startups in kerala it is almost 461 around 500 and in maharashtra is in the leading position and they are nearly 3000 and if you are taking the enhancement in the startup sector you can see from 2016 onwards 2016 it was only 503 or 503 and from that now we have reached nearly 9000 it is enhancing exponentially okay but though the startup is enhancing you can see the fate of startup in agri and food sector it is only totally in total for agri and food sector it is coming less than 8 percentage okay most of the startups are in uh, electronic sector or it sector so what we required because we know our country is basically based on agriculture sector so we need to boost it okay and our aim is actually the central government is planning for the doubling the income by 2022 that is actually our ultimate aim is actually transform the farmer or a progressive farmer to an entrepreneur by reducing the middleman so to enhance the skill development and to agripreneurship actually it is very difficult in the agri sector so where we lack is actually the supply loose supply chain sector in the agri sector to enhance or by strengthening the food supply chain actually we can avoid or can we can reduce the risk associated with the agri industry so we need a, actually a sim, uh, rhythm between all the five stakeholders you can see we should, we need a good idea we need a good market and we need a good finance source and we need a strong supply chain and since it is focused on agri or food sector we need a compliance of the regulation activity also so we were discussing about the strengthening of the rural sector and also to prevent the migration from the rural to the urban sector so that is actually what is envisaged by our late president abdul kalam ji and he started the program providing urban amenities to the rural area so whatever the facilities are available in the urban area the same facility if we are giving to the rural sector we can prevent the migration at the same time we can enhance the production sector and also we can actually enhance the rural employment in the rural sector so this is what the program meant by pura program and this is actually behind the agri business incubator enhancement in our sector so in what we are doing in agri business incubator in kerala agriculture university or in any agri business incubator actually we will support the farmers or the any any uh, individual who is coming with a new idea we will give them the technologies we will give them support for the marketing uh, then we will supply for the finance sources and also we will also even provide supporting for the idea idea realization or if they want to enhance the they, if they want to commercialize a product for that also we support and that is the recent incubation project we known as Ag raftar agri business incubation project and we can even uh, provide the financial sanction up to 25 lakhs that is a grand in aid program okay no we we, didn't, we don't to repay them amount 25 up to 25 lakhs we will give to the entrepreneurs who is having a good idea okay i will we will discuss those things those who are interested in the client so what technologies we are providing we are in our incubation actually we are not giving any old technologies or the which is the technology is already available like uh, jam jelly or squash and all we are not giving we are giving only the new technologies which are which is available in our shelf or in agriculture university so what are those new ideas or new technologies one is vacuum frying technology vacuum frying technology most of you must have tasted that means the normal atmospheric frying is happening around 180 to 200 degrees centigrade and thereby actually the oil quality is degraded even after what's first use but in vacuum frying since it is happening at 90 to 100 degree centigrade almost 100 degree centigrade reduction in temperature process temperature the oil can be recycled almost 60 to 70 times thereby we can say that is a green technology at the same time we can reduce the process operation cost okay but initial investment is high because pretty high compared to the normal because normal frying we require only a pan frying pan but here we required a vacuum 
frying pan that requires almost uh, 15 times than the cost of a frying pan. So that is the uh, in the initial investment, but operation wise the oil recyclability is almost 60 to 70 times and the oil absorption is only 10, less than 10 percentage. In normal chips contains the chip oil content almost 40 percentage, 35 to 40 percentage, but here the oil content will be less than 10 percentage and another beauty is actually the color retention will be good. For example, the ripened banana chips will be in yellow in color. If you are frying by using the normal frying technique, it will change to brown in color because of the browning action or the caramelization process. But here, we will retain the ye golden yellow color by using the vacuum frying technology. So these are the advantage. I will show you some of the photogra photographs. Then another technology which we are giving uh, training is on rat retort pouch packaging by which we can enhance the shelf life of any uh, traditional products for six months, more than even, more than six months. For example, jackfruit variety or uh, tender jackfruits or uh, idiopum or uh, we can say uh, uh, Ramasheri idli. We have extended the shelf life of some traditional product. If the Kotayam, if any regional product, if you have a traditional product which has got a shelf life of one day or two day, that could be extended beyond six months or even sometimes beyond one year by using this technology. So people can, the entrepreneurs can come with their raw material, they can use our facility and they can take back the samples in the packet and they can have even, they can practice, I mean say market, uh, uh, simple market analysis, they can do it and once they are confident with their product, they can spin off and they can start their own product. That is the beauty of this incubation facility. Then another technology is micro-encapsulation, extracting of the spice products and then encapsulate it by using starch products. And another one is on dry fruit. Dry fruit is very common nowadays in any mall if you have seen. But the technology by what we are giving is actually the, by retaining the natural color of the fruit, okay? Because most of the dry fruit uh, which is available in our mall, that is not produced in India, okay? That is coming from Indonesia or Vietnam. But they have that technology. That technology is known as vacuum impregnation technology. Because in our system, actually what we are doing, we will keep it in uh, uh, sugar solution for 8 to 12, month, 12 day, hours. And by that time, the microbial activity is more and the shrinkage will be there on the fruits. But by using vacuum, Dry, vacuum impregnation technology, we can reduce the span from 12 hours to 10 minutes. That is the beauty of the technology by which we will get the fresh color is retained and also we will get the quality dry fruits by using vacuum impregnation technology. And another one is ready to eat products. For example, instead of curcure product which everyone is known and the curcure product, we will produce this uh, curcure type extruded product by our traditional products like uh, nyavara rice, rakshashali rice or kumkumshali rice or even tapioca or even jackfruit seed or the, what are the traditional products which we are using in our state, those products will be dried and that will be produced like, like curcure type products, that means extruded products. Another one is extruded pastas. We know that teenagers and our youngsters, kids like, uh, they are asking every time, okay, what else is there other than rice today to eat in the evening or for, even for lunch. So uh, being a responsible parent or responsible grandfather or grandmother, it is our responsibility to give some good food, okay, and which is healthy food instead of uh, the uh, uh, pastas or noodles made out of uh, maida. So our, we have developed many healthy pastas or noodles with our traditional products. So this is an example for the vacuum fried, this is actually vacuum fried uh, jackfruit chips out of ripe jackfruit, okay, not from the raw, raw jackfruit we can get the yellow color, it's very common. This is a machine actually which works on the vacuum frying machine because the oil will be retained in one chamber and the frying is happening in another chamber and the oil will never in touch with the oxygen, that, that is why we are, we could extend the shelf life of this oil 70 times. So this is the machine which we have developed and this is a tech, you can see the banana chips, this is the banana chips out of ripe banana chips, okay, not from the raw banana chips, okay. You can see the comparison by the normal frying it will be brown in color whereas the vacuum frying you can see the white, uh, that yellow color is retained. And similarly the dry fruit technology you can see by normal drying you can get color is reduced but by vacuum impregnation we can get the natural color of the fruit we can retain here. And this technology is also available in our incubation and this is actually our RTE product, like curcure type products which can be produced out of extruded 
and with the raw material, natural raw material, our traditional raw material like ja raw jackfruit, rectashali, nyavala rice varieties and all, we can make, uh, even jackfruit seed can be fed and we can get the good health, uh, uh, healthy snacks we can produce and out of this one. And another one is pastas or noodles, again purchase, uh, we can produce out of the healthy ingredients which I have mentioned earlier and you can see after cooking it will be quite normal, it will be uh, after cooking we cannot distinguish actually the product. Then this is micro encapsulation, micro encapsulated uh, product by, based on the healthy ingredients and this is the retort pouch packaging I told which can be extended beyond 6 months by using the jackfruit and another uh, technology by which we are focusing actually uh, uh, women friendly missionaries in most of the food industries actually the primary segment primary processing segment is covered by our uh, means women group okay and like uh, peeling washing slicing and all or dicing machine and once it has gone to the sophisticated machine where the male dominance will come. But here what we have done, we have actually simplified the operations of this women group by giving the women friendly machine and we have designed most of the simple designs and also we have, de uh, uh, we have equipped our capacity building is done for the women farmers actually groups to enhance the uh, technology but thereby the sophisticated machines can be handled by the Yes, I, I know that is over, completed. And coconut processing and also we have developed, uh, uh, we are giving training for the co uh, uh, cocoa processing also. So for any of this uh, technologies which we have mentioned now, you can approach our incubation center. We are giving training programs in every month free of training and then you can be a part of our incubation center and we are giving supporting to the agribusiness incubation and even for the startup uh, training programs and we support them for marketing, we support them for uh, uh, refining their technology and, and as a complete solution actually our incubation we are, we are helping the uh, incubators of our program. So we have written textbooks on the agripreneurship uh, and in the case of horticulture segment as well as the food processing sector that is what I have shown these two textbooks those who required of course you can note down the uh, title and with this brief technology introduction, I would like to introduce my two incubators who are working on this uh, concept and now presently these uh, two incubators are with us uh, for the last two months training program. Now I will, I welcome uh, Arun Jos to explain uh, his startup venture and also how, what he benefited out of our agribusiness segment from Kerala Agriculture University. Now welcome Arun Jos. My company is uh, Nallakarshagan Agro Private Limited. Uh, we are into uh, delivering safe, hygienic, safely ripened, certified organic, uh, proper post harvest operate, op operated, safe to eat fruits and vegetables and into fresh fish business. Uh, the current issue with the current market is that more than 18 percentage of the fruits and vegetables produced in India is being wasted, wasted due to various post-harvest, lack of post-harvest operations. And especially in the Kerala market, one of the main issue what we are seeing is unhygienic or unscientific method of fruit ripening especially in mangoes. The mangoes are being ripened either by using carbide or by ethophone. And another one is in Kerala market, the availability of certified organic fruits and vegetables, it's very less. Even in the safe to eat category, very few brands are there. And another one is no traceability or the traceability of fruits and vegetables coming to the market, it's very less. So our company, Nallakashan Agro Private Limited, we are working in different domains. Uh, we are having uh, three brands. First one is Eden Agro, which deals with organic fruits and vegetables. And all the fruits and vegetables in the Eden Agro category are sourced from certified organic farms. And the other one, second one is safe to eat category, in which it's called Nallakarshagan Naden, in which Nadan means locally, uh, locally sourced. So the fruits and vegetables that have been grown by Kerala farmers has been sourced and branded in Nalakashan Nadan and been delivered to the customers. 
and the other one is safely ripened and safe to eat item sourced from outside Kerala that, that's called as Nallakarshagan brand fruits and vegetables and the last one is Nallakarshagan fresh fish. We are also dealing with fresh fish also and we are not sourcing the fish from boats, we are sourcing fish from country boats. So right now uh, we have started operation from last two years onwards and we are done successfully in, in all, all these domains. And uh, uh, one, just one incident I just want to share with you is that uh, the mangoes that's coming to Kerala market, it's been uh, ripened either by using carbide or by using ethophone at very high concentration and which is harmful to uh, our customers. Uh, so in uh, last four months, we were able to sell around uh, more than 60 tons of uh, mangoes and, and around 20 varieties. Uh, we distributed in uh, Trishur and Ernagulam a uh, few premium shops uh, in, uh, uh, as per FSA standards in uh, ripening cold rooms by using ethylene gas at uh, less than 100 ppm. And, uh, that ethylene ripening is acceptable in even in international organic standards. So the customer gets very good hygienic safe to eat mangoes. And uh, the, the mangoes that's coming to the Kerala market, more than 90 percentage, it's been ripened in the other way by using hazardous uh, chemicals. So we do have a very good trust that we do have a great role to play in the Kerala market itself. and. Uh, uh, like earlier in, in the beginning years, I was working only with organic fruits and vegetables. But uh, as, as many of the speakers already said, the cost and affordability of organic fruits and vegetables, it's very high. The price is very high. Not everybody will be able to, uh, uh, able to buy the organic fruits and vegetables. So in the Eden Agro category, we do have certified organic fruits and vegetables. And the other one, the uh, Nalakashagan Nadan and Nalakashagan brand that will be the price will be almost same with the market price maybe 5 to 10 rupees only per kg price will be vary with the vary with the current market price so everybody will be, will be able to buy it so our company's aim is to deliver safe food for everybody at a very reasonable price so if any of the friends sitting here, if you want to give your product to us, you can uh, surely contact me for uh, for that because uh, we we do associate with 50 plus farmers right now. And uh, this is all about my company. And regarding the the help we got from the Kerala Agriculture University Incubation Center, it was a really awesome experience. We were 40 incubators where they were attending this particular incubation program right now. And it was a two months program. And we were finished with uh, all the sessions right now. And more than 100 plus experts uh, came to our incubation center to deliver the classes. And uh, many uh, speakers, uh, many, many people from Thai also uh, came there to take the classes. And, it was a really awesome experience and a really great experience for all of us. And the, 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 we do have participants from 18 years old to 65 years old. So it's a very wide range category. And we do have uh, participants from very basic, uh, maybe pre-degree qualification to PhD degree doctors. So we do have two two doctors with us, two doctoral people and one Ayurveda doctor was there. And regarding the products, we do have uh, one person working on organic uh, organic encapsulation of uh, fertilizer, another one working in organic uh, pesticide and uh, another person wa working on soil and nutrient sensors for organic production. And one person, he is having his idea is to have missions for uh, uh, hiring missions for various activities. So if you want to do a particular activity, he will come with the missions and the workforce and he will do the activity for you. 
and we do have, we do have people from marketing side so it was an uh, uh, very good mix of people uh, came together and uh, the facility uh, given by the university was excellent and uh, like uh, the resource from different colleges came uh, the, from horticulture college from agriculture engineering from uh, cooperation and banking from forestry so all the key, key resources the most important persons came there and shared their experience they were able to solve our problems intuitively so my request for all of you is that if anybody if, if you are having a very good idea with you please always you, you are you should approach the Kerala Agriculture University Incubation Center for any help and uh, Sudhisar is the key person and he's the backbone of this particular program so I just want all of you to give a clap for Sudhisar for organizing this uh, agriculture uh, incubation center because it's his determination and his idea and his passion that is motivating and driving us so thank you so much so if any further clarification are needed uh, we can uh, take few question, question and answer session after Kabi's session Really, Kerala Agriculture University, we are taking our uh, I mean, full effort actually to uh, meet the needs of each and every incubation center because uh, incubator of our center because as he rightly pointed out, each and every incubator has got different demand from their side. So we are able to, uh, we are kept a different uh, specialized uh, uh, scientists to meet the demand of each incubator and we are uh, f taking our full effort to um, refine their technology, whatever they are uh, looking for from our incubation center. So now let us uh, uh, go to the next incubator, uh, PC Kabir, and uh, his uh, company is uh, FarmChimp. And now I welcome uh, PC Kabir to explain about his startup. Yes. Has anyone failed here in the startup business? I have been enjoying failing for 10 years. I'm a software engineer from Cochin University. I started my first startup when I was in my college, during my third uh, year in college. And I dream a lot. And I like the quote of APG Abdul Kalam, sir. Dream is not that you see in your dream, but it is something that doesn't let you sleep. Good evening, time members and guests. I once uh, visited one of my friends Babu, he was paralyzed and the only movement he could make was his hand movement. So I felt bad. I spoke with his caretaker and his caretaker told me his treatment is going on but we are fetching for good food and we are giving good food to him. I left that day, six months later I saw Babu again. He was sitting on the chair, singing a song and clapping his hands with no signs of paralysis. I was speechless for a few moments. I shocked. I spent some time with Babu. I spoke with his caretaker and he told it was a miracle. With the treatment, they were sourcing good food from a nearby farmer, Salim, and six months, the, the paralysis just vanished off. I was having a lot of confusions then. Was good food related to a lot of diseases which we are going through nowadays? Is lifestyle diseases related to the supply chain which we are having? right now. So few questions raised. I wanted the traditional farmers to come up and good food available to all. That is, every Babu gets selling kind of good food. So this crazy idea drove me out, but this was a trust-based supply chain to be built. In college, I thought of this I wanted to make a masterpiece out of my knowledge because this was very easy to connect in technology. But at that point, for me, it was tough. To raise funds, it was tough. I started my entrepreneurship journey 
I failed, rose up, failed, rose up. Three years back, after most of the failures, I thought, this is one dream which I had in my mind. I just wanted to execute this dream. That is, just to connect the farmer and the consumer. There was a lot of hurdles in this track, which I didn't know till I started it. I wanted the finest of good food from Selim to reach Babu. So this idea of farm chimp just started from the, we started source traceability. We didn't want any pesticide in the food or any harmful fertilizers to be used while farming. I was not from a farming background. My knowledge was nil, but it was all about dreams. Everyone start, like I studied in UAE, in Dubai. I did my startups a lot of here. I had a lot of failures here. I went there, I started a company. Again, I had a failure there. Then I gave a try for this. I just started with rice. I fetched 30 people, and they were my friends, and I started my business. So it was very easy for me to show source traceability. One farmer, 30 people, very easy. And it was premium, premium priced, you know, for 30 people, if you are serving, it would surely be premium priced. We started the journey. But the quality was not coming as I thought. Without post preservatives or without proper package, it was tough to deal. We climbed one ladder by one ladder. We solved one issue by one issue. From one product, we started to two products, then to three. After one year, we, start, we started from one farmer, two products, and just 30 customer. We could reach to 83 plus farmers from India and UAE. We could increase our production product line to 2000, uh, 200 products and our customer base to 4,000 customers. So now, after this, we had a challenge of expansion because the knowledge on food processing, farming was nil. Or we had a very little idea on this. With this growth of this platform, of traceable platform, it was much more easier for me to win in some of the awards because we had a good traction. But now was the need for knowledge. I came here to Kerala to study, and it would take me at least six months to one year to gather knowledge. My wife happened to see a newspaper cutting, that is Agri Startup Incubation in Kerala Agriculture University. I was very curious what it was. Because for MIT, we were, uh, we were competing with 20 countries in the Arab region, and we had our cohort in Jordan, and we had our competition in Lebanon. So I wanted to know what it was. I joined the incubation, the cohort which was going on in Kerala Agriculture University. It is two months we are traveling with Suditha and the Kerala Agriculture University. And they have been helping us bridge the barrier to find out what an agri-tech startup needed. From packaging to processing, to getting food technologies, how we could incorporate food technologies, how we can come up with new product ideas. And it was a gem of knowledge we were getting. From morning till the last speaker, since I'm the last speaker here, till Arun, there are a lot of speakers who were telling about large farmers. But I wanted to concentrate on small farmers and have their foot reach each one of us. And that is a very tough task. And what I'm doing in this is experiencing, helping you experience the farmer. So first level we have completed with basic QR and knowing the farmer, which I'll show you in just a brief of a video. Now we're working on virtual reality and going forward, to have that experience bringing up. 
So I would like to show you a two minute of our video. So this was first of our demo stores in Dubai and I welcome each one of you to join our journey in helping more Selims build good food for Babus around the world. Thank you. I think very touching story and very simply he explained the importance of uh, source traceability and the importance of good, uh, good food and also ethics in the food processing sector. So as uh, you can see now, we have brought only two incubators from our incubation center and the uh, technology is available or the incubator's requirement is different. Uh, it starts from uh, 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 agriculture production segment to the secondary. Most of the incubators belongs to the uh, secondary agriculture segment, that is food processing segment. And since we have focused here more, more towards the uh, incubators uh, directly linked to the farmers, so we have bought two. We have uh, choosing two uh, when uh, Thai organizers requested me to pick two from the incubators. It was a difficult task for me to select the two out of this. And uh, again, two more were here actually as uh, my incubators, as you known as the audience and they were working on many value added products like even vacuum fried products then some are working on the uh, ready to cook pastas then some are working on the sensors as uh, rightly pointed out uh, arun jos was clearly giving a, a cross section of the incubators we have hundreds of incubators right now and at present uh, we have 40 incubators with us and every year we will uh, we will go for such training program for the incubation we will select incubators and we are funding up to 5 lakhs for the refinement of the uh, uh, technologies and that is 5 lakhs for uh, prototype manufacturing and we will fund uh, 25 lakhs, up to 25 lakhs we will fund for the, uh, to start an industry and this is known, means repayment is not required, this is a full grand in aid program that is based on the competition we are, they are getting. So mainly it is not based on your education, it is based on your idea and also that idea should be practically uh, uh, feasible ideas only we will select. So we, this time actually we have received nearly 250 applications and out of 250 applications we have selected 40 with a three stage screening process. And similarly next year also we will be inviting 
uh, application for this uh, uh, Grandin 8 program which is up to 25 lakhs and 5 lakhs program for uh, uh, prototype manufacturing as, as uh, the other one is for commercialization. So with the help of Thai, I think Thai has given us a platform to share what is happening in Kerala Agriculture University because it was not aware to the uh, out, outside world actually about what is happening inside Kerala Agriculture. It is only a teaching and learning process and it is only related to agriculture farmer oriented and this is also this is also farmer oriented but converting or translating or transforming farmer to an entrepreneur by avoiding middleman that is our ultimate aim so to, so that we can enhance the uh, double or double their income so this is what which is happening in kerala agriculture university uh, to enhance the agripreneurs okay to promote agripreneurship and uh, thanks Thai kerala to give a platform to share uh, or to showcase what is happening in the agri, or agri business incubator in Kerala Agriculture University and I, all the organizers I thanks once again and I thank my incubators to talk about uh, uh, good words about our incubation center and I uh, of course uh, my wishes for these incubators to to again to further grow their ventures uh, from the startups to start a com uh, to a big uh, full flourish uh, company in near future. Thank you again the organizers for giving us an opportunity. Uh, yeah, see actually uh, I do have a request. Uh, I do have uh, experts in organic farming with me. So if anybody of you needs help in organic production of fruits and vegetables, uh, you can uh, contact our company. Uh, my name is Arun. Uh, if you want, you can note down my number 9400. 412512. 9400412512. So, if anybody wants to do organic farming and if you are facing any difficulty in organic farming, our team can help you out in, in the production. Thank you.